this would be a nice touch if the distance between those two lines wouldn't be different than this distance here. Okay, now where can I find the parking meter? morning and we're in Riga, Latvia and all I can say from our initial quick walk around here is that it's not as design driven as Vilnius but it's really cozy in terms of like this little small town old town that's kind of really really beautiful and I especially love this little decals or whatever you call those painted on kind of ornamentations on a lot of the buildings here so I guess we might not get enough design in this city but it's old in this kind of very nice very good way and most of this old town is actually old so there is no glass and uh, steel monstrosities anywhere and like a lot of little things like this everywhere. So after a lot of searching I finally found the parking meter right here and well it's a little bit different because this one actually has an eye in the app store and the design is a lot better even though this icon here is a little bit too thick compared to the lines in those two but it's not bad, not bad. And check out the icon for the running person here. It's like leaning forward quite a bit. So if the question is would I recommend either Vilnius or Riga for a vacation? Definitely. If uh, you haven't been to any of the Baltic states it's kind of like a mix of Gdańsk and Warsaw a little bit but with like Nordic accents that I like quite a lot and with some local ones probably that I don't know about. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It's very safe here. It's really beautiful. But there is not a lot of design, like as Vilnius was pretty design heavy, there were like a lot of designer stores, clothing stores, like home decoration goods, and all of them had really nice looking logos. Here it's more conservative, let's say, design wise, so it all fits the old town and it fits the old town very well, but it's not modern in the sense that you couldn't really use any of that as inspiration unless it's maybe like, uh, I know, some kind of a retro website. I guess the only thing left for me is to find a parking meter and just try to book a parking ticket to see how this part works because that's probably the only Latvian interface that I'll be able to use here. But yeah, I like it a lot. For a second there I considered looking at the posters a little bit but actually these posters are a little bit different than what your typical city posters are because they're a lot more artistic and they're really nice and I don't really have much to say about them it's just kind of pretty stuff very thought out and with nice illustrations and nice visuals so overall I guess there is no much to be picky about here and that's really bad because it kind of breaks my whole concept for this series of videos so hopefully we're gonna find something in Tallinn tomorrow but if not then I might have to revise this whole thing a little bit this would be a nice touch if the distance between those two lines wouldn't be different than this distance here and it kind of annoys me so yeah if I'm supposed to be picky at anything it's probably just gonna be a random thing on the street here 
This is also something that I've noticed happen in many kind of classy places where they take the logos of different companies and they try to make them all one color to sort of match the minimal style. So I appreciate stuff like that because it brings some consistency to to the city and not the logos are really that important. So it's not like a clash of different colors and different shapes. They're all kind of like matching together quite well. So yeah, this is nice, thumbs up. It's just a beautiful city and that's just it. Okay, now where can I find a parking meter? That's like the last goal for today. Okay, found one. Let's see how this works. There are some languages here. Let's go with English and... Uh, yeah, the sort of padding inside of the circle is a little bit too small. So that's one thing. This text here as well. So let's see. Parking payment. Yeah, okay, let's see that. I think that these circles are probably not necessary. It would be just easier as to like three vertical columns there. Okay, this is just a pretty complex interface really because if you go to some place and then there's both the X and the cancel like very separated from each other. Okay, so the parking meter turned out not to be the best of the user experiences, but they like rarely ever are. And I've tried, this is kind of like a thing that I do in many places that I go to, that I actually check out the parking meters because they kind of tell you how well organized design wise this entire town is. And I don't think that I've ever found one that was any good. So I guess nobody's great, nobody's perfect. But I really love the city and too bad there wasn't really a lot to talk about design-wise. So hopefully we'll find something in Tallinn tomorrow. I'm just gonna go explore a little bit and then probably go to sleep. So cheers!